Hey guys, it's me, Made of Jen, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to a first impression review of this big bad boy right here. This is the Wee Beauty Hair Dryer Brush and 5-in-1 Hair Styler High Speed Negative Ionic Hair Dryer. Um, this is a multi-hair, multi-hair styler with automatic uh, air curling iron, volumizer, straightener, and a travel carrying case, as you guys can see this big case. So I'm going to go ahead and open this for you guys, so you guys can see what comes inside. We start off with these two barrels. These are curling irons. These are 33 millimeters each. One faces to the left, one faces to the right. And then we have this right here. This, I believe, is a curling brush um I've, i i don't know if i'm gonna use this one but it is here um and then we have a little flap we open it we go to the other side and then on the other side we have the actual dryer which i have on the table um we have this brush this is a brush to volumize and then we have the actual hair dryer attachment right here. It also comes with a glove. This is an anti-heat glove. Um, it's recommended to use, obviously, when you're using a lot of the hot stuff. I don't know if I'm going to really use that. This is the actual attachment, the whole thing. Um, we do have three different settings on here. We have cool, medium, and high. And then for the air, we have... Uh, low and high and then on the bottom we do have an air filter that you can un um, you can open up and clean after you use and the really cool thing about this is it has arrows right here where it kind of signals where you're supposed to go and then you kind of go here we have it goes here you guys see that unlock and you just turn it and it's locked and we're gonna go ahead and prep our hair first. I did just dye my hair and it's been up here on um, this hair thing for a while. So I figured I should demo this out for you guys with my new hair color, which by the way, um, this will be up uh, probably before this video. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. This is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. And I'm just using this to prime the hair before I go in with something else. And then I'm just going to use my detangler brush just to brush on through. And then I'm going to go in with another product. This is the Milkshake Incredible Milk 12 Effects. This is a leave-in treatment. Um, I bought this on Amazon. This literally smells just like vanilla uh, cake. And it is a spray, but I spray it into my hand and then I disperse it like this. I found that this is the easiest way to not waste so much of the product and really get it through my hair. So all of this is supposed to help against frizz and obviously it's a heat protecting. We're trying to protect my hair from not being completely fried. Since now I'm gonna start styling my hair a little bit more often, I figured I take some precaution and not just blow dry my hair like crazy. <laughs> I'm at about maybe like 60% dry hair right now. Um, so I am going to start with uh, low heat, actually high heat. You guys hear it's a little bit loud, but it's not that loud. I'm gonna start with high heat. attach, attach take off the dryer put it back in the case 
Uh, obviously this one's just like the first version of the Dyson where you have to use two different barrels to get the air to flow in two different directions. So for this side right here, um, obviously I want my hair to flip out this way so that's also why i'm only starting with this half first and then i'm going to move on to this half so this portion these little barrels they are metal it has the arrows facing out this way so that means that it's going to go towards that direction uh, i'm gonna go ahead and attach the barrel right here so just like the Dyson one, I imagine this one has a learning curve to it. Uh, most of these products, obviously, they all have like a certain learning curve to with them. Um, on the instructions, it does say to keep hair slightly damp while using this, but I obviously dried it as much as I could. I still have some dampness in my hair, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. So we have this sectioned off right here. And the barrel is obviously, it could be longer. If you have longer hair than me, um, this might probably not be the best barrel for you to grab the whole section. The one thing that I, I obviously, like I said, I don't know, I don't have a Dyson. I've never had a Dyson. Um, but you can click the, the temperature button right here to switch the temperature, even though it's already on so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn it on the highest setting and once i know it's it's good i'm gonna press the button one last time one more time and it's gonna start all the way to the blue which is a cool shot button to set the curl and we're gonna see how that works good amount of hair but I think if you have like wavy hair or very thick hair um, you're gonna have to go in smaller sections um, obviously you guys saw I grabbed a good little amount here um, this probably could have been in one section if I had like a thicker barrel or a barrel or a, or some a, more of a suction maybe I could have grabbed all of this but you know beggars can't be choosers <laughs> portion right here so the, those are the hairs I'm, I'm, those are the hairs I'm kind of like pulling off because I know that they're not gonna curl and then just gonna leave like little random strands so I'm just taking them off and then I'm gonna use that as the next section obviously to curl <laughs>
out these curls I'm just gonna let them just do their thing it is super curly it is super there obviously I got good sections you guys can see that now I'm gonna go ahead and switch the barrel be careful the barrel is slightly hot but it's not like too hot it's just warm like you guys see that I put my whole hand there but it doesn't matter it's not it doesn't get hot but you do feel the heat so don't think it might not be hot it, it can definitely be hot and I found it very easy where you can literally just let it curl on its own or you can just grab a specific strand that you want and let it clip on its own. And then you kind of like turn it and then that way the hair won't slide down because if you leave it, uh, if you leave it for it to curl on its own, most of that curl slides down. So you just kind of control the barrel a little bit to pull the hair, to kind of like push the hair up so that you can wrap your whole hair in the barrel. So just a slight little tip that I've figured out now that I've done that. Um, don't judge the cap it's been in my shower forever um, but I'm just gonna apply some and give or take I did all of this the blow drying the curling in about half an hour uh, maybe 35 minutes um, I did obviously go way faster on this side than I did on this side just because I knew what I was doing. I felt more comfortable once I got to this side um, because I already had gone through this big section of hair. So I'm just gonna run my fingers through it really quick. Just this side because this side has been patiently waiting for me to take it out while I was doing this section and then I'm just gonna apply this Tresemme texture um, it's a dry texture finishing spray so this is pretty much to finish off the hair here to give me some texture also we have some random like hairs that are out but we're gonna comb through with my hand and then the last thing the flip this is my first experience with these type of stylers. I usually get an actual curling iron and you guys have seen me done my hair like that before. But today I decided, you know what, I'm gonna splurge a little bit on myself because it's $120, 100 and, well with taxes and everything, 140 something dollars. And I felt like I, des I deserve to give myself something like this. Obviously not Dyson type because Dyson is 600 plus. Even with the discount code, I saw that it was 20% off. I tried to see if I can do the 20. 
plus my discount and I still cannot spend $400, like $300 on a, a, a styler. Like I just, I don't see them like why I would spend that amount of money. So the, I've been honestly like searching on Amazon for the past year, like a styler and I haven't bought any, I haven't really like go all in for it but this one I just I don't know what it was it does have a 4.3 um on Amazon again it it just depends I want to say like on your hair type like if I had more thicker hair or if I had wavy hair I just don't know how it would function because my hair is thick but it's not thick enough where um Obviously, you guys saw that my hair struggled to grab on to the actual curler. So I can't like attest for anyone else who has thicker hair. But if you do have thicker hair, I would imagine it would take you a little bit longer to go through this section just because it can only hold so much hair, you know? For the wrap, like these curls, I do suggest you go at the highest setting, which is two. Um, if you are just blow drying your hair and you don't want a lot of heat, a lot of like it to like really like frizz your hair kind of deal i would suggest go with the lower uh setting and also i have tried this brush right here the brush that comes inside which sorry you guys see all my hair i like i said i already tried it this is the first thing i did try other than the blow dryer portion of this um whole section and honestly it flipped my hair really good. It gave me really good volume. I actually was going to use this for you guys today just to like show you guys like how it can give me volume. Um, but I did not go that route. Obviously, I decided to just blow dry my hair and go straight into the waves with well, the curl just to show you guys like what kind of curl you can get, how much volume you can get from it also. And as you guys can see, my hair didn't come out very frizzy. Thank God, <laughs> I was really worried about the frizzing part. I really do hope that they, at some point, add on more attachments to the to the actual styler. That way you can have like, I know that the Dyson one has like that one for frizz, where it goes against like this and it pushes air and it kind of like calms down uh, flyaways. That would be really good. I would really like to see an attachment where you can switch from left to right. I literally had to do one full half section first because I only can get the burrow to stay one side. I didn't want to keep switching back and forth, back and forth, back and forth through the whole process. So I did the first half and then I did the second half. But you know, I'm, I'm not like upset about that. But at the same time, um, I don't know. Like I really wish they would have like that that function where I can just twist it and it goes left and I can twist it to the other side it goes right. That way I can split my hair the way I usually would curl my hair and then just go up in sections and then be done a little bit more faster. But I think this way was still fine anyway. Like if you have a Dyson and you buy this one and let's just say you go out of town and you don't want to take your Dyson but you want to take the next best thing, like I would suggest buying something like this. The bag is pretty big. It is pretty big, but it is carrying a lot of attachments. Uh, let me know down below if you guys know any other ones that are not expensive. Obviously, Dyson is Dyson. It's their own. They're in their own category. But for me, I'm a broke individual. I'm not sponsored. I don't have any actual like endorsements for this. So like, I'm buying it out of pocket. So for me, anything over $150 is already too much money for me. I was going to buy another one that was $123 with tax, give or take. It was the same price as this one. They were both around the same price. I just, I felt like this one was just better. The other one said that the the blow dryer, like for the curler, was a straight up like curling iron and it got really hot. So that scared me. So that's why I went with this one. This one is technically... A, like a curling iron but it's thin enough where it doesn't feel thick where it's gonna burn your hair and my hair right now honestly it feels fine it doesn't feel burned I will let you guys know in the description box below how long these curls held on because obviously I just dyed my hair I just styled it I don't know how long my curls are gonna last if I'm gonna wake up like this tomorrow in the morning which I hardly doubt but you know Beggars can be choosers. This is not the actual Dyson. It's a dupe and I'm not expecting miracles. I honestly felt like my hair drying time, everything just went by pretty fast and I feel like I can actually do my hair more often if I do this. I actually like it. I honestly feel like I'm going to keep it. It was kind of like a 
I didn't know if I was gonna keep it or if I wasn't gonna keep it but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please make sure to like the video and if you guys haven't already please make sure to subscribe I will see you guys in my next video bye